Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. There's the poo poo. Oh, poo 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 poo. Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, busy driving on uh, my highway to work. This is the highway I take in every morning. It's uh, a dirt road, pretty decent condition, slightly corrugated. Um, I must say the, the G-Class makes uh, smooth work of that. Today we're going to be uh, meeting some more characters at the sanctuary. Um, it's, uh, quite a, it's going to be quite an interesting one. It's uh, a bigger group of lions, six in total, known as Thor's group. Uh, consists of uh, Thor, Charlie, Jabari, Indira, Lola, and Nej. Um, and many of you will actually know that this group um, was vital in making Mia and the White Line, the feature film that I worked on, a reality. And look at that as I drive in. Yeah, some <laughs> elephants to greet me. Okay, so let's change things a bit. Maybe we should go and say hello to the elephants. Lately, these elephants have been spending quite a lot of time on the property and I've been fortunate enough to be able to spend quite a bit of time um, with them to the point where they're actually becoming really, really calm around my vehicle. Um, obviously, they've got good taste. <laughs> hey guys! And look at that. Look at that, they're coming. Hey guys! And they just want to come up and inspect see who it is and then he comes across the road what a way to come to work eh? there there's the one with the trunk look there missing the tip of the trunk this is the cheeky boy look cheeky boy he's just telling me to back off a bit that's the big bull so he's not cheeky. <laughs> they talk to you guys, I tell you, they talk to you very, very well. So he's saying, just let us through here. And it's up to you to respect that space. What you'll notice is that I didn't come barging in here and driving up to them at speed. I came in, I saw them, I just parked on the road and let them come to me. So, you know, you, need to be aware that this is their domain and their territory and you need to be respectful of that and they are very respectful i must say what i find so amazing is how quiet they are when they walk for such a big animal it's actually quite impressive when you hear a human trundling through the bush humans make so much noise let's see this guy here very chilled bye bye See you. Beautiful. Love your butt. Without further ado guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video of uh, Meet the Characters. I think I'm going to enjoy it and here we have... Uh, today we've had like a game viewing session. There's two hyenas. Hey, hey boy. There they go. Wandering off. And I certainly would like to talk about those two on another day and there's some giraffe so welcome to your early morning game drive with uh, your host and guide kevin oh look at the little baby there's a baby there's a baby giraffe that's wonderful meet the characters thor charlie nej Jubari, Lola and Dira. Hey guys. Oh, hello my girl. Look at that. <laughs> Yay, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> hello big boy. Hello my boy. <laughs> Come Neji Peji. On a, a walk they are entitled to do what they want. There's no prescribed way that they need to walk or behave or go. 
they're new to this area, so this is going to be really exciting for them. All right, so I'm going to hang with uh, the first three here. Almost seems like separation of colors, but uh, it isn't. They are a tight knit group, I'll assure you. Here comes Charlie Brown, wanting to know why is everyone going this way? Neji Peji Peji. Charlie's going to roll around in some droppings. <clears throat> mm -mm. Jibs has found a tree and uh, she really does like to tree climb. I'm not sure if she's found a tree to hide behind so she can give Thor a fright. Oh! It's actually Charlie, not Thor. Yeah. I think it's going to give Charlie... <laughs> foiled it. Oh, she loves him. Jabari loves the grumpy. Mr. Grumps. Don't make him so grumpy. Hello, big boy. No, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. What a great boy. Eh? Hey? Nice boy. Nice to be out and about, eh? Thor is going to be five years old in December. He's the oldest out of the bunch. Um, also got seemingly the wisest head. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. There's the poo poo. Oh, poo 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 poo. Man, you can't get that kind of poo poo in the enclosure. Talk about getting it all over yourself. The smell of that is quite intoxicating. And I can understand why, why he likes it. It actually is, you'd expect it to be an, an, an offensive smell, but it's not. Uh, buck poop is pretty, is pretty cool. Should we catch up? No. Thor is the wise one, I would say, without anthropomorphizing lines. He seems to have a level head on his shoulders. He's not really quick to anger. He's quite even-tempered, really keen to try anything. Going to see new areas or just driving in the car Thor loves it. Okay, so here we are. This is the dam. Some water there. <laughs> not, not water from the dam's perspective, but uh, yeah, water in a bucket for the other animals if they want to drink. That, guys, is what I'm talking about. You cannot mimic that kind of excitement in an area that they're familiar with. It's as simple as that. They do not expend this kind of energy. And the problem with living in a cage all your life is it's like living in a cell, a jail cell. You cannot put a treadmill in the lion enclosure and make the lions walk on the treadmill. You cannot mimic this behavior. Four lionesses in a row walking and then intermittently four lionesses in a row playing while the two lazy boys bring up the rear. So, this is important, and I keep on emphasizing it, but uh, hello, my big boy. Yes. You've caught up nicely. Hey? Zoop, 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 zoop. Yeah, yeah, he's found some elephant poo. Ooh, this should be good. That should be good. Ooh, poo poo. Poo poo, nice poo poo, but it's old poo poo, so you don't want that. The moment you take a lion um, and you breed it in captivity and you, um, you make sure that its life is destined to remain captive all its life, which is sadly the case for captive bred lions, um, then you've taken all that is natural away. 
You don't get that, guys. You just don't get that. Rambling on about a lot of things, but I haven't talked about characters. So let me talk about this lioness here. Indy. Hello, sweetie. Yeah, don't lick the camera. Don't bite it. No. <laughs> so as we can see, Indy is naughty. Anyway, so Indy is a very curious cat. She has a very uh, lively nature. Uh, her sister is Lola, so they are a pair. Um, similar characteristics, except Lola's a little bit more uh, reserved. And I suppose with reserved comes the ability to uh, be more um, confrontational when she has to be. Um, and we'll get to Lola. So very similar looking to her sister, also coming up five years of age. So in terms of lion years, they are sexually mature, way sexually mature. In the wild, they would definitely have um, sired, uh, not sired, they would have had their first uh, litter um, of, of cubs and uh, at least and they would be part of a healthy pride. I know for a fact this lion needs mental stimulation. She's not the one to sit around. Slightly, uh, slightly ectomorphic in, 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 uh, in stature, a little bit lankier and leaner, not thick set and stocky. Extremely curious about things and, and scent driven. You can smell, you can see she's, she's after the smell here. She's not a dominant lion at all. So if you look at how she fits in into the, the group, she's certainly not the highest um, in terms of rank. You'll hear a lot of people talk about, including myself, that lions don't have any strict social structure. Um, they're more egalitarian. But with that said, lions definitely have dominance. Certain things will trigger certain behaviors. In the females, in there is probably second or third, maybe a little bit jostling with, with uh, Lola, but certainly above Nej. Nej is definitely more timid. Ooh, poo poo. I think you'll notice that the girls don't care as much for the poo poo as the dudes. So the males are really, really scent driven. Charlie and Thor, I think, have pretty much um, rolled in every bit of doo doo that they found. Uh, whereas the girls are sniffing it and getting a bit of a kick out of it. And for you guys out there who want to know what's in the poop, you need to watch a video I recently did on glucocorticosteroids and progesterone found in high amounts in antelope and elephant poop. But uh, yeah, so that's, that's, uh, that's in uh, Indy. Um, in a nutshell, sweet, 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 sweet girl.